Today we will be solving the second question of December 2019 exam for Canadian Professional Engineering Technical Exam. And here is the question. Two parts. Write the node voltage equation for V1, V2, V3 and V4. And then solve the node voltage equation. On every exam, one or two questions are given which are time consuming and some uh, students get involved and they waste their time. So this is one of those questions. This is very, very time consuming. So if you have a choice, you should avoid this question. But anyway, we'll do it. Okay, so the first part we have to write the voltage equations. Now, if you are familiar with the nodal equations, you can see that the node 1 and node 2 form a super node. So a voltage source, whether independent or dependent, between two nodes makes the node super node. So this is one super node. And this here is also a voltage source, dependent voltage source, but this will also form a super node. Now, for super node, what we do is we will put a circle and to show that these two points are actually the same point, same point, same node, and similarly, same node here. And then we write the currents or mark the currents in the node. So I'm just taking arbitrary current, I'm calling this as I1, this is I2, the 5 ampere, this is I3, I4, and I5. And I1 is coming here also. And now we'll write KCL equation at the super nodes. The writing KCL equation for each super node. Now, if you look here, entering, current entering is I3 is entering. This, just remember, this is one node. So I3 entering, 5 entering, so I3 plus 5. And leaving is I1 and I2, so I1 and I2. This is one of the KCL equations. Similarly, at the second node, we have uh, current entering is I1, this one, and leaving is I3, I4, and I5. So this is our second KCL equation. Now, since we need to find the voltage, we have to convert the KCL equations into voltage form and uh, I hope you remember how to write for example I3 now this is I3 so we can say it as V3 minus V2 from higher to lower V3 minus V2 divided by 2 so V3 minus V2 divided by 2 plus this 5 and then plus I1 now I1 look it's going from here to here so V1 is higher, so V1 minus V4 divided by 5. V1 minus V4 divided by 5. And finally, I2. This is I2. I2 is coming from V1 to ground. So V1 divided by 5. This is the first node, uh, uh, first uh, equation in terms of voltage, KCL equation converted into voltage. And then we can simplify by multiplying by the LCM, which is 10. So we multiply by 10, we get this, and we collect the like terms. So this is our uh, equation uh, 1A. From 1, I'm just writing it 1A. Similarly, this one also will convert in a voltage form. So I1, we have already learned from here. It is V1 minus V4 divided by 5. Similarly, I3 we also done, V3 minus V2 divided by 2, I4 is this one, V4 divided by 2, and I5 is this one, V3 divided by 6. And here also we multiply by LCM, simplify, so this is our second equation. So we have got two equations, two voltage equations due to the current, KCL. Now we have to find a couple of more equations and for that wherever there is a super node we have to write a KVL equation. 
for this this is super node so we have to write a kvl equation for this loop we are calling a loop one similarly this is super node so we have to write uh, a kvl equation here we calling it loop two and the upper one also has the two super loop, uh, nodes therefore we'll also call upper one as loop three so we have to write three equations from these three loops and i'm sure you know how to write kvl from starting from one corner so negative v1 negative v1 plus 15 and plus v2 so this is for loop one similarly for loop two minus v3 plus 2vx plus v4 and loop 3 minus v3 this is v3 okay so this one we we can start from any any place oh no sorry uh, here uh, there is a vx term we want only in terms of v1, v2, v3. So how do we get rid of this vx term in loop two? This vx in loop two. So we can see from here, this diagram, we can see from the upper one that vx is actually v1 minus v4. vx is v1 minus v4. So replacing that in this and simplifying, we get the uh, equation number four or the second uh, equation for the loop number two then we come to loop number three and loop number three we can start from here so starting from here vx minus two vx plus two i3 and minus 15. so here also we have two terms we don't need that is the vx and i3 simplifying we get this equation we have to get rid of v3 and i uh, v, uh, vx and i3 to get it in terms of v1 v2 v3 so vx we have already learned so we can put this value vx is this and 2i3 2i3 from here you can see it is actually v3 minus v2 v3 minus v2 so Plugging in these values, this one and 2i3, and simplifying, this is our uh, fifth equation. So we had two from the KCL and three from the KVL equation. So we have these five equations. Uh, we only have four variables, therefore we only need four equations to solve. So we'll use these first four. Okay, so these were the equations. We can eliminate one node voltage so that we can solve three simultaneous equations instead of four. So if there are four variables, it becomes difficult to solve. So we'll eliminate one so we get three variables and we can solve it by three matrix as we'll discuss it later. And how do we eliminate one of the variables from here? You can see. From equation 3, V2 is equal to V1 minus 15. So we can eliminate all the V2s in, in these equations. So from equation 1A, eliminating V2 by putting the value of V2, we get equation number 7. Similarly, in equation 2A, we eliminate V2 here. So we get equation number 8. So now we have one equation here, one this one, and the equation number four does not have a V2, so we'll take that as well. We can solve these three equations by getting three variables, V1, V3, and V4. So uh, equation number four, this one we're taking. We have taken equation seven, and we have taken equation one. Now, there are several ways of solving. Uh, you can follow any, uh, but I think the easiest would be to go by the matrix rule. 
So we are writing this in terms of matrix. I hope you know how to write it in terms of matrix. And then by Kramer rule, we can find the voltages. So these are the three unknown now, V1, V3, V4, we have to find. And this is the formula, delta 1 divided by delta is V1. Delta 3 divided by delta will be V3. And delta 4 divided by delta will be V4. Now, what is delta? This is delta. And uh, again, I hope you know how to solve. We take 2 and then cross multiply this. Then we take minus 1 and the cross multiply these 2. And then we take uh, a third minus 1 here and cross multiply uh, these 2. So the answer is 58. You can use your calculator to easily find this. For delta 1, we remove the first column with the uh, equal uh, or the constant terms. So removing the first column with the constant terms from here and again following the same technique to solve. So we have this is 0, so first is 0, the second is negative 1 and these 2 and third is this one and these 2. So the answer is minus 8, minus 800. Similarly, for delta 2, we remove the mid column, same technique, uh, for, sorry, for delta 3. And then for delta 4, we remove the last column and we find delta 4. So we have found uh, the, all the deltas. Plugging in this formula, we get V1 as minus 13.79 volt. V3 is minus 6.465. And V4 is 37.07. So V1, V3, V4 we have found. But uh, we have V2 left. So for V2, we had this formula. We had learned this. That V2 is V1 minus 15. So now that we have V1, plugging in, V2 will be minus 28.79. So this is your answer. You can summarize. These are the four variables. That and fine. Now, uh, if we have time, you should check. We can use these values to the fifth equation, which we had not used. So this was the fifth equation. And you're plugging in the value. Uh, we get 14.68, which is approximately equal to 15. There is another technique uh, to verify, slightly time consuming. But that is we use the calculator. Let me see. Okay. Now, uh, th these were the three equations. We can use the calculator. And there is a hidden uh, uh, technique here that is called the equation. So we go to mode. 5 is for equation 5. And it has a couple of options. We'll select these three variables and a constant. The so 2. And now we'll just keep plugging in the values. Now, first one is A, that is 2. So we put 2, put equal sign. Then is minus 1. So minus 1, equal sign. Here also minus 1. So minus 1, equal sign. And the constant is 0. So 0, equal sign. Next is 9, minus 5, minus 2, 125. So 9, minus 5, equal sign, minus 2, equal, and 125, and 5, equal. So the second row is got done. Then 21. 21 equal minus 20 equal minus 21 equal 2 to 5 2 to 5 
So all the entries are done. Now if you press equal sign, we get the first variable. Here it is calling x. So x is this value. And this is in fraction. We press SD 13.79. So this is minus 13.79 for x is V1. We press it again. Y, this value SD 64.65. So 64.65. This was our second variable. This we calculated later on. This is the second variable V3. And again, if you press Z SD 37.068, 37.067. All these three we have verified with the help of calculator as well. And then using the formula, you find V2. I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.